Hey guys, it's FOPSEL. Long time no here. It's been almost a month since I last uploaded a video and uh, I I don't I didn't I don't really have an excuse for it, but I'm going to try making up and I'm going to try making this as short as possible and I won't go into tangents. I'll include links to the last few videos of what happened in the four, last 4 or 5 months of my shitty life since I moved out into this shitty city as the title says. But I'm gonna catch up from last time, from the last upload. So, um, from my last video, I went back home to my hometown. Uh, not necessarily because I missed it or anything. To, I was, I'm starting to get used to this uh, living alone shit because I'm really away from my sister and her stupid kids visiting and all the noise and the bullshit. And generally, my family is loud as fuck dumbass fucking mongolian hungarian half hungarian piece of shit so i'm glad i'm away from all that shit <laughs> but um in lieu of uh, the past events there have been a few things happening but i'll continue from this part so i went home not because i missed home but because i was thinking of bringing my uh, my desktop pc over here because i thought that if I if I'm not going back home that often anymore, I'm probably planning on going back like once every three weeks or once every month. I said I might as well just get my desktop. And the problem with that is, um, well, my uh, motherboard on my desktop PC is from 2018, so it is a bit dated at this point. It's it's not a weak motherboard by any any point of view like it, it can still run for a few more years to come because i bought a, a good motherboard it's an asus 2 something uh gaming motherboard but the problem is that and i'm actually surprised even to this day that they didn't think about this uh back in 2018 when they fabricated this thing to not include onboard wireless uh, like onboard wi-fi uh, caption right so if i want internet on my desktop I have to get one of those stupid little adapters that uh, help with wireless to catch Wi-Fi. And I uh, did have one, an old one back at home, but it was like a shitty small USB stick in, like directly stick it in into the uh, desktop. And honestly, that was way too weak. Like I was getting like fucking 30 megabytes per second. That's weak as fuck. Like uh, normally I'm paying for like one gigabyte of internet that that's the speeds of internet in romania <laughs> and i'm and i'm paying like i don't know the equivalent of eight dollars eight dollars or so something like that like actually no i'm exaggerating hold on no no it's like 15 or 16 dollars something like that for you americans like 15 dollars that's the equivalent for for one gigabyte of internet speed now sure because there's kind of a distance on my laptop I only get like five to six hundred megabytes per second but if I go very close to the to the wireless remote um, modem because the modem is like right next to the entrance and for some reason they made this stupid unnecessarily long hallway in this apartment that I rented out and yeah because of the distance uh, some of the strength gets lost but it's still like 600 megabytes per second that's still good. But yeah, normally I get about almost 1,000, like 900 something. But with the PC and the old shitty adapter, I only Wi-Fi adapter, I only got like 30. And and not only that, but like it it just kept like spaz like uh, you know disconnecting randomly, and I was pissed about that. So the first few <laughs> days, I was pissed about that, and I just you know, at first I tried. To get a cable like an ethernet cable because uh inside my room where the sockets are in in like in the room there is an ethernet socket as well but lo and behold i found out i find out that uh, the morons that built this shitty block system they just made it that they didn't tie the the wires from the socket where the ethernet is like it's not tied to where the modem, you know, box control for the internet, or whatever the fuck it is. So it's it's not the fault of my internet provider. It's the fault of the the fucking company or whatever the fuck was that built this uh, apartment block. Like they made a really shitty job. So I don't have that tied in, and I have no idea how to open up a socket and tie all those wires. And I don't have tools. Actually, I they actually watch a tutorial. 
and you need to have some kind of specialized tools. And I was like, fuck this shit. So I had to spend like fucking 270 lei or so on a really good Wi-Fi adapter. But the good news is that the signal is just as strong as the laptop. Maybe only a slight bit stronger, like 650 on, on the best, you know, caption. So I sorted that out, but it was a source of annoyance at first. Like I, my desktop like just sat there for a few days just yeah, gathering dust <laughs> because I had to wait for the adapter to arrive. And that Ethernet cable, I, I fucking, I borrowed that from my tech friend and shit. And yeah, it, it was it was stupid. It was annoying. I had to return that cable to him. I almost forgot about that. And onwards to other things. If you guys remember the arc, the saga, well, this is the saga of uh, the <laughs> the French girl. <sighs> Link to the video here, six minute mark. I hope I don't forget it. Um, well, it's safe to say that that arc is closed now. I really hope it's closed. It seems like it's closed. Um, cause she did come around. Uh, to this city, to the offices uh, for three days um, last week. Like from the 6th of February till about the 9th. And she wanted me and the other uh, Foyd that I met on onboarding uh, to hang out again out in the city. And of course because I'm a no-lifer and I'm stupid enough to think that Oh, I, I got over her. And I it did feel like I got over her. Like she was no longer in my head rent free. At least for the past month or month and a half at least. Almost two at this point. Because it's just three months since November when I when I went out with her. Right? And in my stupid incel emotionally damaged and deprived mind. It treated that as a date and I fucking felt like a sucker for her. But I did get over but it didn't take long for that shit to reignite. But the way it did, it was weird. So, we, um, the Romanian girl said, that, oh, I can only hang out on the 6th. So that's basically the exact day when the French, the Frenchie arrives. Because on the 7th, I have some bullshit anniversary with my boyfriend. And uh, on the 9th, I don't know what her excuse was. I, oh, on the 9th, actually, the French chick had to catch her flight back to fucking Bucharest like at like 5 p.m. or so. So it ended up being on the 6th. The only caveat was that because the Romanian girl had so, took some kind of language classes, she only got out at 8 o'clock, like 8 p.m. So kind of late, right? And because I was thinking, ah, uh, actually, no, I'm going to skip over this tangent. So it was 8 p.m., right? So, the French chick, like, she leaves from her hotel or wherever. She's, like, lodged for the three days that she has to work here. She walks there in, like, half hour she arrives. She was the first to arrive in front of the building where the Romanian girl had to come out from her classes, right? She arrives first. I arrive, like, five to ten minutes later. Because I took the bus and it, it took a while. And then I had some a little bit to go by foot I meet up with her and she's like yeah can I hug you and I'm like yeah sure thing so I hug whatever we waited for like another two three minutes then the Romanian girl comes out right and uh, the Romanian girl also said that uh, her this she said this actually before we even uh, agreed to meet like right that night she said that oh my boyfriend he would also like to come along too for a, for a drink or something and we were like, yeah, of course, that's a good idea. But what what happened next was kind of weird and kind of blew the mood for everyone. So she got out of the that institute, right? We all three met up. And uh, the two Foyds, they agreed to eat something first. I guess they were hungry or some shit. I, mean, I wasn't hungry, honestly. I kind of ate before, not long before leaving home. But I said, ah, if I plan to drink something, I probably might as well have something so that it won't, like, affect me negatively. So, yeah, they decided to go to McDonald's, and I don't really like McDonald's. 
not because of being edgy, but I legit don't, I don't really like McDonald's. And I said, yeah, all right, fine, I'm gonna, in that case, I'm gonna get something else, probably a kebab or a shawarma or something. I ended up getting a small kebab, chicken kebab. F funny thing, like, it, it was in the city center, and lucky for me, like, the kebab shop was only on the other side across from the McDonald's, so... Yeah, the girls, they went in first. The Romanian girl, like, she has OCD and shit, so she's a kind of a germaphobe. She's like, oh, please, open the door. I'm like, yeah, fine, whatever, I open the door. Go on, ladies, get in. I'm like, yeah, what well, <laughs> bullshit gentlemanism crap from an incel. Of course, and, yeah, they get in. I go to the, well, to the fast food, Lebanese, whatever shit that thing was, shop. I get my kebab. I go to Mackey's. The girls were still waiting in line, so a minute or two has passed. They got their meals. I think both they both got happy meals. <laughs> fucking hell! All right, then we sat down. Me with my <laughs> my fucking kebab in my hand, and they with their damn happy meals. We don't talk too much. And um, the girl, the Romanian girl. This was even before we got into the McDonald's. Sorry, I had to mention this before. Said that, oh, my boyfriend is going to be a bit late. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But we eat. And then, as we speak, right? Um, we speak a little bit about work and then randomly about stuff. I didn't speak too much. The girls, they spoke a bit more. The French girl, like, she... Well, here and there she mentioned, uh, you know, that... Uh, she she spoke a lot with me last time on November. I confirmed. There was a small inside joke there where she said, "Oh yeah, when me and F up spent the night together." I'm like, "What, dude? That sounded wrong." And they laughed, and the fucking Romanian girl just looked ah, stupid jokes. But still, of course, it's all jokes. Nothing serious, of course. But while we are in the Mackies, to not sidetrack anymore. The Romanian girl, like, she gets a notification that her boyfriend, like, she ar arrived at uh, wherever she decided that we go get our drinks. And honestly, that place sucked, but I'm going to get there soon enough. So, she and she was, like, worried. Oh, my God, he's definitely pissed off because I know him. I know him. He's angry because we start late. I think at this point it was, like, 8.40 p.m. or 8.35 p.m. I don't remember exactly, but it was... It was well, like, at least an hour past 8 p.m. So, I was like, oh, my God, he's probably he's probably annoyed. He's probably pissed. He has to work tomorrow. I also go to work tomorrow. But he goes to work physically. Bullshit like that. They're, my suspicion is that they probably were stressed out beforehand. But anyways. So, we suddenly get up. French girl also gets up. And the Romanian girl's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you're, you're uncomfortable because of this. The, Rom the French girl was like, yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Honestly, I think there was a slight twinge of actual regret in the French chick's uh, tone. And later on, I, I will give another observation about her, which, which I, I was able to tell from, you know, these events. But regardless, we get up suddenly and we go to find this place. I never was at that bar. And the girl was like, oh, I know exactly where it is. And I'm like, I open up Google Maps. She's like, put away your phone because I know. And like, dude, I was just trying to help. And the French girl was like, yeah, he was like, good intention. Like, no, but I know where it is. I know. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. So what end up, ends up happening? Fucking typical foi female moment. Like, <laughs> she, she doesn't exactly find the place. And we're, like, going in circles. And she's getting more and more worried. Like, oh, my boyfriend's gonna be mad. So we go in circles for, like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. But eventually we find the place. It was at the, in the, at the corner of some, like, street. Some, like, you know, like, uh, pedestrian street. Like, you, you cannot get in there with a car, right? Like, the, the center of the city, you cannot really go through it with a car. Except for a few places, but generally you can't. It's mostly for pedestrians. And we eventually find it. It was on the corner and it was a building that was like getting re rehabilitated. Because it had some kind of a red drape to rehabilitate that shit. And I was like, yeah, the Google map said here. So it, it must have been here, but we was, weren't able to see it because of this stupid red thing. <clears throat> and the Romanian girl was like, yeah, 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 indeed, that's true. That's the reason. 
But <laughs> the funny part was that, man, even entering that goddamn place, <coughs> there was no no sign to to say where it uh, wrote its name of this place, right? There was nothing. It was literally a, a fucking, like a, a narrow corridor, dark as fuck, like a small staircase of like three steps, three stairs or so. But it was dark as fuck. Like, I had to light my uh, torch on my phone to be able to, like, see. Because I was like, god damn, I, I, I might just trip and fall. So, yeah, the French girl came behind me. I lit up the torch. She was like, yeah, thanks for that, for the light. And I'm like, no shit, it's so dark. They couldn't put a goddamn light bulb or some shit. And what this place actually ends up being like. Like, we go inside, we get past this narrow corridor. It, it was inside of a historical building, like, fucking European... You know, aristocracy back 150 years ago used to have, I guess. Where there was this, like, kind of like a, an, a, a closed-in yard down and, like, in the, you know, at the at the ground level. And then there was a winding staircase going up to, like, a, a balcony that had the same shape as the ground level. Like, it was a... Stupid annoying phone notification. It was like a like a square balcony type of thing. And then there was a door that led inside. Right? Inside rooms and shit. And there was the first room. And then on the right there was a bar. Which was also... It also had tables and shit. And then there were tables. And there were a few rooms. Like it was usually at the ends where there were like... Uh, you know... Um, you know those... Uh, how, do you, how the fuck do you call it? lounging things those sofas yeah there you go where there were sofas as well it was kind of it really was like a hipster fucking kind of place i didn't really like it that much honestly mostly because of the annoying fact that like it was okay it was the balcony it was the rooms inside but down below it was just like an old yard and the entrance was fucking dark as fuck it wasn't cheap neither but uh, pretty much the center of town is not cheap about anything regardless but yeah <clears throat> it was really kind of a hipstery place it was interesting because it had some kind of a scrolls or parchments like uh, you know tied up on the ceiling to give it some kind of an atmosphere shit but that was it and we so we go and pick our tables uh, the, the Romanian girl's boyfriend was already there so when she was worried that he was mad it was you know, when we left the Mackies, it was because the guy already arrived, and uh, I guess they tried to communicate that we'll get there after we eat or some shit, I don't know, and the atmosphere was kind of tense because of that, but yeah, we got there, and we wanted to drink some wine, so the girls, like, asked, asked me what wine preference I have, like, obviously dry, preferably not white, red, <laughs> they go ask, there's no fucking wine, at least, especially not red wine at this bar. So we end up deciding on beer. So we we go. I go to the bar eventually. Both and uh, the Romanian girl's boyfriend also like joins in because he was out for a cigarette first. And we all go there. The Romanian girl and her boyfriend was there already. French girl too. Like I also arrived. Like I was the last Johnny come lately there. And the barman, man, he was a bit kind of cringe. I think he was already drunk. They were talking about all kinds of shit. He was, like, really talking weird with <laughs> I, I get with the French girl. I guess because it's a foreigner. And he was like, yeah, it was all speaking in English and shit. And the Romanian girl and her boyfriend, they were right next to each other. They were trying to, like, laugh alongside with the barman. But I think it felt like they were trying to... I don't know, I, I, this is just my suspicion, patch things up between themselves, I don't know. But it didn't really work, and I'll get to that later. So we eventually decide on buying beers, and before we do, they do decide on also some kind of wine, because eventually the barman said, oh, I have something, and he gets out a bottle, and they all look at it, and the French girl just takes it, and she's, like, smelling it. Like She comes from, apparently, from a family of winemakers or some shit. So she's, quote-unquote, good at this. I guess she is. And the barman was like, oh, no. He was, like, trying to make... Probably non-Romanians won't understand this kind of banter, but Romanians will. Uh, the barman went, like, 
uh, oh, I don't, you, oh, yo, no, no, don't smell it, don't smell it, I don't want you to smell it with your, your fancy French nose. He didn't use the word fancy, and I guess that was his mistake. Because <laughs> the French girl, like, she was looking at him weird, didn't quite get it. And there was an inside joke that the Romanian girl taught the French one about some kind of a Romanian, not really a swear word, but more like shut the hell up. And she was like, I'm going to use a weapon against you now. And and, and he's like, yeah, what, what? And she like says it. And he's like, oh, oh shit, ah, oh, you got me. You know, but like, you know, sarcastically. And um, then I don't know what else they spoke about because the barman was really cringe like i order my beer i order my drink i i, I couldn't abstain from ordering a small shot of some kind of whiskey it was aaron <laughs> and i see the barman he pours two of them and i was like what the fuck i ordered only one and and the romanian girl goes like wow who who ordered a shot as well and the barman's like oh no that's on the house because i want to drink it too <laughs> what the fuck okay so we we click glasses to health, right? It tasted good. And I had my cash in my hand because I wanted to pay my, my, my part. And he just didn't see the money. And like, okay, weird. And then there was another uh, thing that he spoke with the French girl, the bar guy. He's like, oh, yeah, well, when you go back to France, something, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, but no, I, I live here. I what? In Romania? Where? And she's like, in Bucharest. And, and he's like, Oh, that shitty is bad too, but Romania, oh, the shittiest country ever. And she, <laughs> to total Eastern European moment, right? <laughs> and she's like, nah, no, it's not really true. Like, she kind of took a bit too seriously this guy's banter. Although he kind of sucked with it too, I'm going to admit. Like, he, he kind of, he was cringy and he sucked with it. And I could tell that she wasn't really taking none of it. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to go to my table. And she just took her beer and like small, like, glass of wine and she went to the table and honestly i also was kind of like uh, i wasn't able to take the cringe so i also went to the back to my table and then the other two have followed as well the romanian girl and her boyfriend and once we sat down you know i, I was hoping because i'm stupid okay even though i got over the french girl i was hoping that with this night out i get i get to speak with her and to catch up with her and bullshit like that of course, my excuse in my mind, oh, just to have fun and friends and shit, but I'm a retard and I should know better that an inkwell cannot really be friends with a woman, right? I think the only way you, especially if you're like inexperienced and shit, you can be friends with a woman if like, I don't know, if she's absolutely hideous or if she's a relative or I don't know, if you're, you also have a girlfriend and like you don't really aren't interested in other women. But that's not the case with me, right? Because I'm, I'm a fucking inkwell. So I was stupid to think that in the first place. And what ended up happening as we sat there at the table, like the girls, they were only speaking among themselves. The Romanian girl, like she was taking French language classes, <laughs> literally the, the, the coincidence and irony, right? And they were like speaking about the language shit. Like I think it was well past 9 p.m. at this point. Well past, I think. And I was, and then the guy, he only was, he was only talking with me, like, okay, maybe not only with me, but like 70% of all the time that we spent there, which wasn't even that much, it was him talking with me. Like, look, I don't mind speaking with dudes, but I wanted to speak with everyone, right? I mean, I hardly know the guy. I, <laughs> I know him the least out of everyone in that group. And, of course, I spoke with him, and I was like, yeah, this is a bit cringe. And I swear, except for that interaction at the bar with his girlfriend, like, he barely spoke with her as we were at the table. Like, maybe one or two or three sentences, max. Like, very few and forced. It was strange, and... Like, with very few exceptions, like, he also spoke with the French girl and, like, asked for opinions for his, from his girlfriend and shit. And I got to speak here and there a little bit with with the girls as well, but not much. And eventually, there was something that happened. Because the Romanian girl has OCD and is kind of a germaphobe, what happened, like, I, th I think a pack of handkerchiefs or some shit fell from her pocket. And her boyfriend picked it up and put it, back, put it back on the table, you know. 
and she kind of she she got pissed like she got a bit tilted she was like oh why did you do that like don't you know you know well that i don't like that like you should have left it don't put it back on the table you know and like she wasn't screaming or anything like don't don't think about that like <laughs> you know like it wasn't that bad but like we could tell like both me and the french chick like we were looking like cringing a little <laughs> Like, we're just looking there awkwardly at these two. And you can tell that the guy, like, didn't quite take that too well. And then his girlfriend was like, oh, oh no, he's mad. Oh, oh, like, I was like, and in my mind, oh, my God, don't do that. Like, treat him, treating him like a puppy. Fucking don't. Uh. But, I was, of course, I, I was keeping my black pillar just <laughs> reined in. But I was like, God damn. Ugh. And he was like, yeah, whatever. And she was like trying to grab his hand. And he was like, nah, pulling away. It's like, nah. And then she was like, oh. <laughs> it was like, whatever. Let's just, let's just pass over this. And then he spoke a little bit more with me again. And the girls also like spoke a bit. And then a tiny bit, we all of us spoke together. Um, he went to the bathroom I think I caught up with the girls just a tiny bit, but not much. Um, he came back from the bathroom, and then he was searching through his backpack or her purse or something, and she's like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he's like, what? I, I want to smoke a cigarette. Like, he was the only smoker out of all of us. And and then he looked at me like, whoa, don't you want to come out and smoke? And I'm like, um, I don't smoke. And then his girlfriend's like, oh, yeah, okay, okay, let's all go outside, let's all go outside. Let's all. Very weird. So we go out to the balcony, right? And he lits up a cig. And I tell, they start speaking a little bit. And I tell them, um, guys, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I did go to the bathroom because I had to take a piss. Like, I drank a, a bottle of beer, so. Once I came, and once I came back, I think we spoke for another 5-10 minutes, not too much. It was, again, some bullshit about language and accents and regionalisms and about Romania overall and shit. And also the French girl, she also spoke about uh, about her, you know, how she's, the way she pronounces stuff, where she's from, blah, 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 shit like that. And, you know, I'm not going to get into detail because I don't want to make this too long. Because I still have another episode to cover, so... This was on the 6th of February. I think it... And then suddenly, like after, I don't know, another 15 minutes after I came back from the bathroom, I think it was 15 minutes or so, Romanian girl just looks at her boyfriend and just suddenly says, oh, okay, we go home now? We go home? Yeah, we go home. I was like, oh, all right then, all right. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, that was kind of short. So we go down. Again, I turn on the fucking phone flashlight because goddamn stairs are too dark. We get out and they just storm, like they storm away, you know, and I don't, they quickly order their bolts or Ubers or whatever, like soy methods of transportation. And I'm like, oh, wait, wait, guys, 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 wait, my, my way back home is the opposite direction to, with all due respect. So I will have to say our farewells. And the Romanian girl and her boyfriend, like they quickly just like went, ah, oh, okay then, bye bye. And she's like, does a, does a blowing kiss, bye and waves and they go. Like, oh, okay, that was kind of fast. And me and French, me, I look at the French girl and like, I think it was not just him that was mad. I think both of them. Th th there was something between these two. They probably had a fight or they're probably stressed out that tomorrow they have their bullshit relationship anniversary or something. Like, yeah, yeah. But I also have to go now. Yeah, yeah whatever. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, farewell hug. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I wish we could have called up more and stuff. And she was like, yeah, yeah. Last time when we were all out, all outside, you know, having a drink, like that was way back in October. Like, right, she was just saying that, like, back when we all met for the first time, like, it, it was better, it was lighter. And I was like, yeah, that's true. We also started late, yeah. Anyways, she left. I, I think it was about 10.40 p.m., I'm not sure because, weirdly enough, I didn't really look at the clock. Or even if I did, I forgot because whatever. But I went by foot to the nearest uh, bus station because, fortunately, it wasn't late enough that, you know, the public transportation was done. Usually it's slightly after midnight when they stop, like, you know, 
they stopped driving. So I eventually went to the bus station, got my bus, came back home, drank a beer, felt like it was very empty. I was feeling frustrated because I didn't manage to... This is the reason why I felt frustrated. I didn't manage to catch up with the Frenchie. Because I'm a retard, okay? I know I'm stupid. So, yeah, I was a bit frustrated. I stood up till about <laughs> fucking 2 a.m. or some shit. And yeah, I went to sleep, woke up at 8.30. And yeah, also another thing, before, as we were leaving the freaking bar, I told the French chick, like, you're, you're still here till like Thursday, right? And she was like, yeah, yeah, but on Thursday, I, you know, I'll have to fly back and also I'll, I'll have some kind of a special team meeting. I don't exactly know what the fuck that was. Some kind of brainstorming bullshit that fucking corporations do. And what not. I could have, if I wanted to actually probably get the chance to truly catch up, I should have went on Wednesday. But it doesn't matter. In fact, I think I did the right choice and I'm going to explain that in the end. So... Wednesday, I just work from home. I booked myself to go to work on Thursday. I, I had to go anyway because I had to sign some kind of papers for, uh, you know, because I'm past the trial uh, trial uh, uh, point of my work the first three months. And also because it's a new year, they modified my salary. They increased it a slight bit, not by much. <laughs> so I had to go to physically sign some paperwork. And that was also another justification. But the main reason was because I wanted to... Well, I was stupid. But I get there on Thursday. And, of course, like, the French chick knew very well. Because I wrote this on Wednesday, you know, as I was working from home on the on the platform that we use to communicate with everyone in the company. That, you know, I'm going to come tomorrow. We can have, you know, we can meet up at lunchtime and whatnot. She's like, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Like, she says yes about lunchtime. She says yes, right? This is relevant. Keep this in mind. So I make my sandwiches that, that evening, everything, pack up, everything ready. Second day, I go to work. I was lucky that I also met up with a, with an old friend that also works there. Different company, but in the same, like, rental offices and shit. So, yeah. I spoke with that guy in the morning. I write to this fucking Frenchie and the thing that, uh, hey, you know, if you want, we can go lunch. You just say when and whatnot. I think she did reply to that or something, but she didn't really say much. And then she was away from the computer because she had some kind of a meeting or some live meeting or some shit, right? She did, she did eventually come out from there. And because the buildings are kind of united and there's like weird compartments and shit, uh, she did cross through the corridor of my, of my open space office. I'm going to turn on the car to run for a little bit. So yeah, like I was saying, she was she passed around and she managed to see me like from this. Is like, hey, she makes, she waves, I wave, she goes out. And I'm a retard. I'm a dumbass moron, like, dumbass retard, idiot. And I hope this shit doesn't bite me in the ass. You guys will understand in the end. So, she goes, eventually, not long after, like, my, the usual time when I take my break, arrives around 1 p.m. And I say, well, I just look around and she doesn't reply at all, doesn't reply. And like, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I'll go outside. I'm going to take my break outside. I meet up with that friend of mine. We talk a little bit. I eat my damn sandwiches. And I go back up. I speak with my colleagues a little. I check my laptop. She still doesn't reply. I'm like, eh, okay, fine, whatever. I think I mingle around a little bit with my colleagues. Then I go back, work something a little bit. Probably an hour passes at most. I don't think that more than an hour or so. Less than an hour, actually. And I go outside and I get an extra cup of coffee. By myself, I go outside. You know, I'm just like, fuck it, I'm going out. And I drink co uh, co that cup, like, slowly, looking at the fucking cityscape. And I see a group of people pass by, but they, they didn't pass by too close. 
And she was also among them, and she was like speaking in English, I think. She was like, oh, whatever, or maybe I don't know what fucking language, but she was speaking. I mean, she only knows, she knows English, French, Spanish, and what, what other languages, so I don't know. But regardless, she's passing by, I see her, I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna say hello now to focus, and uh, I hope she doesn't see me. Ah, uh, which I don't know, but I guess she didn't. But I drink my coffee. I eventually go back up. I'm like, yeah, okay. Bitch doesn't want to. I, I was actually a bit pissed. I was tilted. You know, I admit that probably the main reason why I was tilted about this is because, of course, I still somewhere deep down I have lingering bullshit feelings, which I shouldn't have, but I have. That's probably the main reason. But I also kind of hate it when, you know, when one day before you tell somebody, hey, are we gonna meet are we gonna blah 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 do something right and they kind of agree and you know once I am there and they kind of flake I'm kind of pissed off about that and sorry I, I just saw someone like fucking looking at me inside the car fucking go back inside old bitch <laughs> anyways so I still don't like it when, you know, I agree with someone on something, like, very clearly, and they flake in the end. Like, it's it's really an annoying thing for me, like, perhaps it's because in the past I used to, like, like, I had this happen to me several times with people, like, friends that betrayed me, flaked on me, said that they, they'll come, this was way back in childhood. They said that, oh, I'm gonna go inside, drink some water, and then I'll come back out and play, and then they, they fucking don't come back at all, like, and I wait like an idiot. I don't know, an hour or two, like, I think that's why I get pissed off about this, because it kind of reminds me of that, and it makes me pissed, because I'm, I'm being made a fool, right, and, you know, eventually she writes, she says, Are, is it, oh, so you're right, like, the, the stupid, imagine how stupid the French chick was, like, she thought that the other one, the Romanian girl, would still be there as well, that, you know, on that Thursday, but, okay, maybe, or maybe she wasn't stupid, she just wasn't, careful at what the Romanian chick said but like she thought that she might also be uh, you know at the offices that day but she wasn't and she told me eventually oh so it seems like uh, the Romanian girl is not here you are right uh, are you okay if we meet at like 3.30pm uh, or 3.45 and I'm like 3.30 is alright at that point I'm like for fuck's sake come on so, after a few miscommunications, 3.30 arrives, I eventually, I eventually get to, get down there, I thought that she doesn't come anymore, so I wanted to go back up, and she eventually writes, oh, okay, where are you, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, man, I'm, I'm down at the couches, like, right at the entrance, right next to the scanners, <laughs> and I, for fuck's sake, why does every time everyone take their break when I'm in, like, Fuck you, bitch. With your cigar. I hope you smoke on your cigarettes. Uh, choke on your cigarette. Anyway, so... Like I was saying, she eventually arrives. And I, I say, like, finally. And she's like, what do you mean? What finally? What finally? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I wrote you so many times today. Like, it's... Like... Come on. And I already said before that I'm down here. And she's like, yeah, but I... Uh, I then she like explained that oh I didn't uh, I didn't know or I I, I always had like uh, you know like uh, man I don't feel comfortable fucking speaking when that bitch is out there smoking and looking directly at me fuck you this is exactly what I fucking needed so she starts to justify herself saying that uh like, she only had, like, fucking live meetings all day. Like, she didn't really sit in front of the PC. Like, it was just brainstorming shit. And she said that she took, like, a small coffee break, like, uh, somewhere with a few colleagues. And and but, and but she said, but I didn't have an actual lunch break. And I was like, I didn't, you didn't really tell me that. Like, you didn't clarify. And she's like, ah, all right. Like, she was a bit, you know, like, tilted. Like, ah. And I'm like, well, you have to say that, for fuck's sake. And I'm like... I understand that, like, you didn't have time to sit in front of your computer, but you also have a work phone, and I, you don't have a watch on your arms, on your wrists, like, if you, you check the clock, you see if you have notifications, don't you? 
and she's like yeah but like it's rude to sit on a phone when uh, when uh, you are uh, with other people and I'm like yeah sure but like come on you know whatever and then she's like okay look like we can we can spend another 10 minutes just arguing about this or like we can talk or communicate and catch up like she didn't say catch up but whatever she's like all right fine i guess you're right in your own way and we spoke very shortly about just a few things like not too much because like she said oh okay i have to go get back up you know like i i have to clock out at because it's already four i have to clock out and i'm like damn it's already four it's like yeah so we go up on the elevator like a last hug or something and she's like ah we don't have to do that if you don't like it i'm like no it's not that it's not about that i'm just i'm just being weird stupid whatever This got way too long. This shouldn't have been too long. I hope these fucking assholes and these stupid fucking... This goddamn block apartment has fucking two stupid businesses next to it. It has a stupid coffee shop on the ground level. And the goddamn fucking patisserie bullshit. It sucks too. I bought from them and it sucks. And they have a back door that leads exactly to the parking place. And there's like an old bitch that kept peeking out of the door and then right now some other stupid young Foyd like she was out on her smoke break and she's just like staring at me like the insane guy spoke on the phone <sighs> I I'm sorry guys I, I'm not as low in hip as I seem in my streams like like I, I'm very self-conscious when I see people like just staring at me speaking by myself I, I just just I'm just holding the phone next to my head so that they think that I'm speaking on the phone but fuck it I, I still hate it fuck Fuck, where was I with a goddamn story? Yes, it was bullshit, okay? I, I spazzed, though, like, I, okay, I didn't spaz or scream at her or anything, but I could tell that she was kind of dis disappointed or whatnot. And, you know, I decided that next time that she wants to hang out with us, the group, that I'm not gonna go anymore. I just said, this is it. Like, I have to cut the fucking cord at this point and skedaddle get out of there and what I don't know why I even did this I, in fact I should I should have waited I think I just got a bit too confident too cocksure that oh I think I got over her well enough so I can do this but which was stupid because this is what happened I got a bit too cocksure today I opened that stupid messaging app that I have on the fucking, you know, uh, at work. Oh, and also, before I did this, like, the same day on that Thursday, like, late, I just I just got pissed. I removed myself from the WhatsApp group where I was with me, the French Foyd, and the Romanian Foyd. I also deleted the chat, you know, that I have with her and all that shit. I'm not sure if it's deleted on her side as well. Probably not, but I deleted, right? I deleted everything that I could. Which was kind of a mistake. I should have kept the WhatsApp one. And this is why. I'm going to get to that right now. I hope I'm going to end this fucking story before the 15 minute mark. So. I basically. Wrote. To, on, on that messaging shit today. I was like. Look. Sorry for Thursday. I overreacted. And I shouldn't have done that. And I think something along those lines. I don't even remember exactly because the, that, that shit is a bit too fresh. I, I did that shit today before I clocked out from work. And, you know, when when, when emotions are still fresh, I hate talking about them. And, I, I, and I'm even less accurate than when, when some time passes. So, I say that and she eventually writes, hey. And she's like, yeah, it's not really a problem. But I was honestly kind of disappointed because... We could have communicated, but instead I wasn't expecting to get uh, rep uh, reprimanded. She was like, "I I understood your feelings, and I but I was I wasn't expecting you to be mad." And I was like, "I just told her, yes, indeed, and you know I'm sorry about that, but um, you know I will clarify that, uh, you know." eventually on whatsapp not here like that's what i told her on whatsapp and not here you know I'll, I'll clear the air on that and i think and then i went on my lunch break and i think she misunderstood that sentence 
she probably thought that by clearing the air up I meant that I'm gonna keep you know trying to pull her tongue for explanations of why she didn't reply to my stupid messages or whatnot and then she wrote a surprisingly long text I mean it wasn't really that long but it was like a good few paragraphs like several sentences um, where she said something like no but it, it was like I, I I didn't really like the fact that you like ah oh, shit I don't exactly remember she said something along the lines of uh, you know when I come over there to your city I do meet up with a lot of people at one t at the same time and you know I, I I have to and in the moment I have to give the attention that the people deserve I couldn't like go look to the messages whatever I kind of didn't like that because it kind of felt like well you probably didn't deserve that attention at that point because you know the people who are like right next to me at that time deserve more like she's probably that kind of person you know she's probably that kind of extrovert that you know goes with whoever's in closest proximity her team is kind of large too and it does have a lot of other foreigners as well besides you know local Romanian employees but honestly it's still in my opinion it's still kind of shitty because like if you discuss something with someone before right and you come to an agreement you should sort of respect what you spoke with a certain por person before meeting someone else or someone new but whatever I digress she also used that excuse when I when I told her on that Thursday that dude you didn't check any of your messages like I wrote several times and she was like yeah but also there was another new colleague and I had to speak with them too and I'm like whatever man <laughs> but regardless it was stupid it was stupid I mean I still would have been pissed even if it would have been a guy friend that had done the same shit I would I would have been a bit a bit kind of pissed off you know like if you agree upon something you should agree on it like you know I mean, I understand, how, you know, for example, like Inkwell TV says, oh, it's not like you sign a contract. I agree, but at the same time, I kind of disagree because, like, if everyone is like that, the entire world is going to be a flake fest. No one's world, no one's, nobody's word will mean shit anymore. And then, I mean, <laughs> you know, my trust in people is low enough as is, you know? Like, that kind of shit doesn't build trust at all, so while it should be expected as someone that's black pill at the same time you know if i know someone even if it's at like an acquaintance level you know you you agree upon something like if you ex you said that you agree upon something like you should at least if you want to put something off and flake at least say it beforehand you know like just at least respond like for example my tech friend I can't tell you guys how many times he was like, yeah, we should play D&D. &D. And then suddenly he's like, oh, I can't today. I'm sorry. I'm too depressed. At least he says it, you know. Or if I ask him, hey, are we still going to play? And he's like, no, sorry, man. I'm depressed. Like, he answers. Like, not long after, like, the guy, the guy actually answers. Like, I respect people who at least, you know, disclose things or at least give you an answer than those who like say something and do nothing or do the exact opposite <laughs> you know so yeah she wrote that text and she's like yeah I'm not used to that with my friends or with she says her husband's name I don't know why the fuck she shorn her fucking husband's name in there like weird but yeah I then tell her this is where you I know a bunch of boyos will say like you did the biggest mistake ever and you're gonna regret this but I'm going to I'm going to explain myself at the end. I'm going to shorten this really fast. I eventually tell her, "Look, there's another underlying reason for why I behave like that and I think no, she actually wrote that, "Look, if it's too hard for us to meet at the office, at least we sh if uh, if the Romanian girl also agrees that we should meet, you know, out in the city." And uh I guess she kind of implied that if we go out, I'm going to go out only with uh I'm gonna go out with you only if the other one comes around as well, which is fine. Okay, respectable, better. <laughs> but 
to that message I directly reply yeah I think I'm not going to be joining anymore I guess we don't click that well anymore I, I was kind of trying to you know make some bullshit up so I won't say the actual reason and then she goes like she didn't exactly understand that she was like no but you don't have to remove yourself from the group it's gonna be less fun without you la 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 and I'm like Look, there's there is another there's another underlying reason as to why I don't want to come. But I but by God, I cannot tell you that. And she's like, she doesn't understand. Like, what do you mean? Like, and I'm like, oh come on, you should know this. Like, you 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 know what I mean. I I wrote something else before that, but I didn't directly say it. Right. And she eventually was like, oh, ah, ah, ha, 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 oh, my, well, but, well, I mean, you probably are going to calm down in a month, right? And I'm like, I doubt it, because it didn't exactly, because I, because it didn't exactly work in three. And then she's like, <laughs> she's so dense, she's like, oh, what do you mean, what do you mean by three? And I'm like, months of time. And she's like, oh, ah, <laughs> She's like, and I think this is the actual time when she actually got what I meant. I was like, yeah, okay. Well, I'm sorry, but I, 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 I think she wrote something and I don't remember that because like shit's still fresh. And I say, look, man, um, I don't want to make this weird. Sorry for making you feel weird too, but, and she's like, yeah, well, okay. I, I respect your decision, but like. Are you are you really going to be stuck on this forever? Like she asks me, and in my mind I'm like, I don't. I, oh no! I reply to her. I don't know, and I'm not curious about finding out neither. And she's and then I'm like, well, I hate this shit too. I mean, it ruined it ruined the perfectly all right friendship. I shouldn't have written that. But well, whatever. She then <laughs> put down a shrug emoji and replied, well you're the only one who know yourself and your limits the best um she's like i guess i respect your decision i think she was a bit disappointed about it but really you know what i don't regret i did the right thing the only thing i regret is that she basically found out that i kind of that i told her that i like her and i'm a bit scared about that like she could go to then again what the fuck can she do with the HR? I mean, come on, man. It's not like I harassed. It's not like I did anything. It's not like I wrote anything suspicious in any chat logs before this. The other Floyd left this company. She went somewhere else because, ironically, the Romanian Floyd had some shitty, you know, teammates that <laughs> bullied her out of that place. Yeah. I perfectly relate to that. So it's not like they're gonna speak among themselves and be like, yeah, they're both are gonna be like, nah, I mean, the other one can't do anything. I just hope I didn't screw the pooch. But still, I'm gonna justify myself with this. The simple fact that I managed to even get this job at all was, you know what? A miracle and kind of a, a hand of fate kind of bullshit in of itself. None of this is due to my efforts. And not to mention that I am the same person as I was before I got here. I am essentially the same f up cell. Even though probably some of the viewers kind of feel like, ah, oh, he's a white-collar motherfucker now. Ah, oh, he doesn't upload as often anymore. True, I am those, but I am not changed at my fundament. Maybe some of you guys would go and say, yeah, he totally changed. No, I did not. I'm the same person. I am just as miserable as I was five six months ago one year ago two fucking years ago perhaps even three years ago i'm just as miserable i am the same miserable sack of shit that i was and i'm just as ready to die in my sleep if i have to like if i were to die in my sleep my regret would be minimal honestly if if any at all so in case the worst happens. In case she goes out there, screws me over with the HR, which I kind of doubt because her reaction was kind of a mixture of finding it kind of funny 
but also she was kind of confused and surprised and disappointed because she lost, I guess, a, a drink buddy when she goes out. But like, come on, I, you know what? Come on, like for fuck's sake! I heard, this this woman has a fucking life. She's someone who actually has a life. She's one of those normies that have a fucking life. I mean, you know, before I I I. But the last time that I spoke with her, like just like I said 20 minutes ago in this fucking recording, when I was outside, right, on Thursday, and I was, you know, I was saying that, oh, you didn't reply to messages, whatever. But after I got past that, she was talking about her colleagues at work, whatever. And then I asked her, and what did you do on, uh, on the day between? Like, you know, because on the 6th of February, we were out and had that sorry excuse of a, like, a <laughs> drinking session at the bar, which is barely anything. On Wednesday, I wasn't there. On Wednesday, she did meet up with uh, the other Romanian Floyd, I think. At least that's what she said. And I also asked her, what did you do after work? You know, And she was like, oh, I went with my work colleagues to the mall. We stood there till quite late. I bought a present for my husband, but I don't want him to find out where it is. I want him to, it to be a surprise for him. Ugh, bullshit. And then, and then she said that it was quite late when she got back. And uh, she wanted to go on foot and her, coll her colleagues were like, oh, no, don't do that because it's kind of dangerous. Oh, shit like that, you know. And get a car, get a cab, whatever. So from that, I deduced that, like, come on, like, why even be disappointed? Assuming if she even is, but she probably was a bit, like, judging by her texts. Like, why be disappointed that you lost some inquel fucking loser Okay, she doesn't know that I'm an inquiry. Like, hopefully nobody ever finds out from real life. Because if they do, I'm toast. But, like, she do, like, what do you, what does she have to lose for like not having like an extra drinking inquel, <laughs> whatever the fuck, when she goes out with the Romanian foil and I suppose her her boyfriend will also come along. Like, seriously, she ha she has so many options, right? Fucking hell, she, the bitch said it herself when she was giving her excuses that why she wasn't replying to messages. So like, come on, man. Oh, it's rude to talk on your phone. You still check the clock. You still go to the fucking toilet. You you could you could write a message and say, look, I, I don't have time today. I legit don't have time. I'm sorry. Like, she could have at least done that. But anyway, I digress. So, like I was saying... She has options, man. Like, why? Why? I, I won't even understand. Why would she be pissed? Like, I'm nothing. I'm just a pebble in the middle of the road that she fucking stumbled across. Like, her foot just stumbled across. Like, I'm nothing. It means nothing. Me being around means fucking jack shit. I'm the only one who took this way too seriously. I'm the only one who's like, oh my god. It's bullshit. This is the new year and it's the same me, really. And there you go. I mentioned the actual title of this fucking video. This was the longest in the shitty city uh, series. I was stupid. And I can already see you guys' comments. I can already see what Doom and Gorgeta is going to say. And, and honestly, he's justified. He's justified if he's going to clown on me. He's justified if he's going to tell me shit. But again, like I said, man... I don't even care. Like, if, if if some shit goes down and I get fired because of this, which I don't really think so, but you can never be too certain, too too sure, too too safe. But if it does, man, I'm ready to die. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like that fucking song. It was that rap song. I think Tupac also said this. Motherfucker, I'm ready to die. You know, <laughs> it was him, and I think it was also the DOC or someone like they—they they had some kind of a you know rhyme like that. Like I'm, that's legit my mindset. Like I, I, I'm already living in hell. Like, look, the like from a moral and to an extent a psychological standpoint, there is no difference in my life, like the way I live, between me and the prisoner. Like someone who's in legit jail. There's there's almost no fucking difference. Socializing shit, in my case. A fucking bitch is never. Um, respect, yeah, right. You know, the bare minimum at least. But other than that, nothing. I'm a fucking cockroach. 
Like, there's no difference between me and a, a slave or a prisoner. Or The only difference is, of course, like, I don't lack anything material. That's I admit that I'm more blessed from in that respect compared to a slave or a prisoner. But, like, from a moral standpoint, there's no difference. I might as well be dead already. <laughs> you know? Like, it's clear that it's over. It, it you know, it's it's not rocket science. It's, it's clear that it's over in many, many ways. Especially, you know, from... Whatever, man. This video has been way too long. I, I didn't intend it to make this long. To make it this long. I was hoping I would make it, like, half the length that this is. But, like... And it ended up being this long. So it's time to end it and I have to go inside, eat some shit and cope and hopefully go to sleep at a reasonable hour. Which I suspect I won't because I'm a fucking night owl and I sleep like five hours. <sighs> anyway, F up sell out. <coughs>